Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you the some of the uh, varieties of peace lily. So here I have um, as of currently I've got three different kinds of peace lily. Of course, there's way more than three. I think uh, I've seen on some website is that there's like more than ten different kinds of peace lilies. But of course, it's almost impossible to find all of them by yourself. And actually, I think at least five or six of them are very, very similar. You cannot even tell the difference yourself. It's very hard to tell the difference. Um, but here, I got some of the main piece lily pieces, some of the, you know, more uh, easily to distinguish. So first here, let's look at this one first because this is the most common type. This is just the, I guess, I'm not sure the, you know, the specific name, but this is just the common piece lily, at least the most common one. Um, so you can say this is the regular piece lily as you can see, and this one is still a baby plant. Uh, it's hard to see from the camera, but this is just a baby. Um, and this one it retails for only two bucks at Home Depot. So this is the cheapest piece lily you can ever buy from a store, probably. It's only two bucks for a baby piece lily. Um yeah, I was kinda surprised when I saw this. I was like, oh my, two bucks is a very good deal. If you want a piece lily, yeah, it's a very, very low budget investment. Uh, of course, if you take care of it, it will go. It will grow eventually very big. Um, I think most of the peace lily I saw at the store are at least the, the smallest one and the cheapest one retails for five dollars. I've never seen a two dollar peace lily before. I mean, not even two dollar plant, let alone peace lily. Peace lily are usually more expensive than some other plants. I mean, I've seen one dollar succulents. Um, but yeah, peace lily never on sale. Um, never, you know, discount at like, you know, something like $2. Uh, and I even see some that are 10 bucks or even 15, 20 bucks. So, yep, this one even has flowers. So, it's hard to get blooming by yourself, but, you know, uh, at the nursery or the store, you know, they have some special method or they put in some, um, chemical special fertilizer for it, it which is very hard to obtain by regular people so some people say this kind of cheating you know you never get it to bloom like this again especially such a baby plant you would never expect to bloom so quickly so you know something you know there's something behind the scene going on um, sometimes like even a big one like this one it doesn't even have flowers so they're cheating in some way um, but yeah, this is the regular peace lily, um, the most common one, like 95% of the peace lily I saw is this one. Uh, every store which has peace lily will have this one. I almost can never find any other type except this one. I Of course, I have a lot of these, they're in different sizes, but they are uh, very similar. Actually, I might have, maybe some of them are different species, like I said. They look exactly the same, very similar, so I couldn't even tell the difference. And on the label, on, you know, every one of these, they all just say Peace Lily. It doesn't even say what kind, like Peace Lily something or Spaff something. But no, they all just label Peace Lily, even though clearly they're different. So, um, I mean, yeah, I wish they have the name so I can tell the difference, you know, the specific one. This one, yes, yeah, you can see. You know, I'm sure if you have a piece lily, you'll be able to tell, you know, this one, a regular one, shiny leaves. And this is the medium size. I mean, this is a baby, but for this kind of piece lily, they are kind of medium to large in size. Um, of course, there's bigger one and there's smaller ones. Uh, there's a dwarf piece lily, which looks, again, very, very similar to this one. So I'm not sure the difference. You get long, shiny leaves, especially young ones. The young ones, they all have very long leaves. The older one will have more, like, a less narrow, but the fatter leaf, border leaf. And then the 
flower is white, as you can see. And then it's just a uh, modified leaf. They start as a leaf and then they, you know, they change in shape and turn the color to white. Um, and there's some new shoot over here, as you can see. It's a very easy plan to take care of if you don't do anything crazy, you know. Um, if you don't give them any shock, you know. It's actually a very easy plan. It's one of the easiest. As long as, you know, you don't <laughs> disrupt the root ball, you know. Um, you know, I would recommend, you know, just take it easy. Buy it from the store. Don't do anything. Just water regularly when they droop, you know. Don't give it direct sunlight. Just indirect sunlight. Uh, if you want to be safe, you can put it in a shady area. It might not grow as much, but you know, take it the safe way. So this is the first one, most common one. And then, actually I want to show you this one first. This one, again, it looks, it's hard to tell. I mean, this is already quite the uh, more distinct one, you know. Uh, but this is, I believe, it doesn't label, but I believe this is the peace lily sensation. So if you have some knowledge on peace lily, you would know that the sensation is actually the largest peace lily uh, you can ever find, or the largest known peace lily. And this is called the sensation. And again, this is just a baby plant. And already you can see the leaves are way bigger than the regular peace lily. They're both kind of baby. Maybe this is a little bit more mature, like a juvenile. But yeah, it's, you can see the leaves are way bigger. You can see from this angle. You know, it's like twice the size. It's just crazy. Um, it's just slightly taller. It's, you can see just slightly taller, but the leaves are twice as large. At least twice. So it's pretty crazy. And the leaves is um, thicker. You know, and the texture is a little bit different. But again, yeah, it's very hard to tell. Um, the leaves, I think it's a little bit darker for the sensation. But yeah, sensation is uh, has a darker, thicker, and border leaf. This is just one example. I have a few more. If, if you have seen my other video about planting peacefully outdoor, you will find that one. That The one outside has bigger leaves, border one. Uh, they can grow as tall as six feet in height, which is crazy for a house plant. And the leaves can grow bigger than one foot in length, which is crazy. It's like it's like you can grow this big for the sensation, of course. I'm talking about the sensation. It can grow as large as something like this. This is again, this is not a PCD. This is my one of my diving back here. A popular house plant, one of my favorite plants again. But yeah, this is the sensation. So, uh, of course, this is harder to find. But I'll still say this is probably the second most common piece lily. But again, ninety five percent of this one. Even the you know this is the second most common one. Is just you know maybe five percent. So big difference, big gap. Um, but I like this one a lot. I like this one more than the regular one. Well, I would say because, you know, it's just too common for this one. And the sensation is much bigger. So again, yeah, I like something big, you know. Um, and then huge leaves. So, and then let's look at the third one, which is this one. This is way harder to find than even the sensation. So far, I've only seen it at one nursery. So as you can see, you can clearly already tell the difference. I mean, it's more difficult to see in the camera, but in person, you can immediately see this is not the regular piece lily. Uh, this is the, you know, you can see the difference. It's also different from the sensation. The sensation could be hard to distinguish from this one, unless they are mature, you know, it's way bigger. But this one clearly is different. Like I saw it at the nursery, I was like, they only have two at that time. Right now it's even no more. Like I bought one and then the next time I went back, the other one is gone. And then other, after that, they didn't um, put in more stock. So this one, uh, at first, yeah, I was like, this looks like a PCV. It looks something familiar. I don't know what it is. So I look at the label and then it's, to my surprise, it says Peace Lady. And I was like, oh my God, like I have to get this right away. This is a different variation. 
I think this is called the P3 Platinum Mist. That's the whole name. But some people just call it the Platinum. Platinum. And it has a lighter color. Among these three, this one has the lightest color. It, again, it's hard to see at the camera, but you can, uh, in person, you can clearly see that. And then the mature leaf, they're darker in color, so right now it's hard to see. But the new grove is lighter in color. But I don't. Yeah, this uh, new grove right here, but again, it's hard to see. Maybe better now. Yeah, they are lighter in color. I've seen pictures online that is like completely like light green or neon green which looks striking you know it's just crazy I would love to have a neon green piece lady um, and then the the texture is also different I mean this is not shiny at all it's hard to see it from the camera but yeah this is kind of have a you know it's not just one color it's like it stripes like light green and dark green you know this is way you know way more beautiful in my opinion than these two these two is very similar but this one is a lighter color and it's not just one color there's some white stripes on it too uh, in my opinion at least among these three this is the prettiest and by far this is my pe my favorite piece DD and even my favorite house plan currently I mean this is this plan is my favorite plan of all my plans all my house plans any plan and as you can see, this is not a baby one, of course. I think this is a juvenile, at least. It's much bigger than these two, and more leaves. Um, but I believe, yeah, uh, it's not the full size yet. You can sc still grow uh, a little bit bigger. Maybe like, right now it's like two feet tall. I think it can grow three feet at least. And then, as you can see, this one I'm doing water culture. But if you're a beginner, I don't recommend all the culture, you know, I, I make a lot of mistakes, but of course I learn a lot from my mistakes. Uh, you wanna, you know, new beginner, just stick it, like I said, leave it in its original pot, take it the safe way, you know, just water it, give it some indirect sunlight. Because um, you can easily mess up any piece lady if you do water culture. Um, yeah, it's not the easiest plan to do water culture, I mean, the Duffin back here is way easier. But yeah, this one I do water culture, and uh, this one, nope, not this one. I mean, I have some other that is, most of my house plant in water culture, at least for Peace Lady and Dabibekia and the Puffos. But yeah, this one, because I have so many, so I just leave, like, I think I leave two of mine in soil. And of course, the one outdoor is in soil. But anyway, here's the third one, is my favorite one. And I know there's, of course, some other types of peace lily. Uh, one of the other one that is quite unique is called the domino peace lily or the variegated peace lily, which has some like um, white spot and uh, green spot, you know, on the leaf. So it's like, yeah, that one is easily the most unique one, I would say, or easily, you can easily tell the difference. Uh, between that and this but this is also quite easy to tell um, I don't have one and I haven't seen one in person yet so I will leave my judgment for that um, but right now this is my favorite one if I have a dominant one maybe that would be my favorite I'm, I'm not sure but actually I also like the sensation especially if when it grows bigger um, but yeah peacefully is just uh, one of my favorite plan, uh, plants easily so there we have it, uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day.